Hey everyone, this video is going to walk you through the Lone Star launch in more detail and show you exactly why this is the last end of year review course that you'll ever need. The Lone Star launch is a 15 day end of year review course for middle school science students. And it's specifically aligned to the eighth grade star test that students take in Texas, but many teachers have found that it aligns with their own state standards as well. And so there are over 54 middle school science topics covered over 15 days in this course. And each day has three to four stations that students can work through in groups or independently online. That's right. We've now added digital versions of all the stations so students can still have an engaging experience, but do it completely online. I want to walk you through just one of the stations so you can get a feel for how versatile they can be for your own classes. So let's take a look at the Energy Transformations uh, Station, which is found in Day 5. And we'll go down here. So you'll notice that we provided a video that shows exactly how the station's set up so that there are no questions about what needs to be done. We're former teachers ourselves and there's nothing worse than getting a cruddy lesson plan that's half-baked and doesn't allow you to see what the expectations are. So there's a station video for each of the 54 stations. You can see in this particular station, students are gonna be using uh, a clipboard and some binder clips that you provide. Now the next document is the paper version of the station. You can preview it right in your dashboard to take a peek at it. And if you decide to use it, you can either print or download it right from here. And these are totally editable as well. We've provided editable copies of these documents below each of the different uh, days. You know, I'll show you that in just a moment. And this is where what the student is going to be seeing at each station. The directions are clearly defined. The next couple of pages are the actual activity. And in this case, the students are going to be using these binder clips to um, Note which types of energy are chemical energy. So they'll flip over the binder uh, for the, all the chemical energy um, text, text here. This one's fun because it gives them a code to get to the next puzzle of the station, which has them working through an energy transformation. We also provided the answer key, of course. Um, this next puzzle allows them to manipulate pieces to work through an energy transformation of a flashlight. And then of course, we also provide an answer document. So this is what the students will see. Let me make this a little smaller. You can see the whole document here, um, where the students will actually write out their answers on the answer sheet. In the teacher directions, we've even provided a Google form where students can self-check their work. So like for example, this, this one uses a, a puzzle code. And to know that they can move on and they've got it correctly, we've provided this link to a Google form. They absolutely love this. Let me show you kind of what that looks like. So here's an example of that. And the real code is, happens to be uh, 5423. But if we, if we put it in wrong, it's, it's going to tell them, nope, future's not so bright. So, so they, they know that uh, it's incorrect. But if they actually input the correct code in, click next and it says your future looks bright and actually gives them a funny little gif that of course they're gonna love to see so we've used a unique gif on each of the different stations so that's kind of fun and they can submit it that way and this this obviously makes your life a lot easier but if a student gets stuck on a particular one it also allows you to be able to go over to that group and immediately in real time do some do some teaching or some reteaching right there about a particular content, excuse me, about a particular piece of content. So each station also comes with uh, an extension activity, which allows them to apply their knowledge. So here's the extension on this particular one. Sometimes it's just in the form of a question. Sometimes it's another little bonus activity. In this case, it's just um, apl applying some knowledge about household appliances and energy transformations. And then finally, the station is summarized by a reflection question or two to show mastery of the concept. So the stations are designed to be able to do three to four per class period and spend about 10 minutes each on them. 
Now we've also included digital versions of each of the stations. Yes, that's right, we've included digital versions so students can work on these independently online. Now the files are PowerPoint files but they can be imported into Google Slides as well. So let's take a look at that. We would click here and download it. I've already actually got it downloaded so let me open up that same file. And you're going to see it's it's basically the same activities, but they've been modified to be done online. So the first activity allows the students to use the yellow circles to note the chemical um, energy situation. So like a new battery, yeah, we'd highlight that. And they can move all of these um, yellow things around. It even gives them a hint up here. You're not going to use all of the yellow circles. So that's going to help them find the code that gets, get, gets them to the next puzzle. If you're looking at the next puzzle here, you can see that this is the energy transformation. So we'll start out as chemical in the battery and we can move these pieces around. They can build their energy transformation out. One thing I want to note is um, whether you use it in PowerPoint or in Google Slides, the students can't mess with any of this text back here. We put it on a slide master so they can't, they can only manipulate the things that you want them to manipulate, including on the answer sheet. They can't manipulate the question they can only type their answers in these red boxes where you want them to place their answer. They would save the file and then send them back to you. So that's just one station from one of the days. Again, there are a total of 54 concepts covered over the 15 days. I want to quickly show you some other tools that you'll have access with the Lone Star launch as well. Let me get back to the dashboard. And Let's look at the star questions here. If you choose to use them, we've also included our own unique, these are written by us, unique star formatted questions for each day. If we take a look at the energy transformation one, this, this one right here, 69C, you'll see that they should be able to answer, answer this question based on the activity they just did. So some teachers would do these four questions maybe as an exit ticket to get out of the classroom that day or maybe at the end of the week they would com combine them together to, to, to do kind of like a little mini uh, assessment or, or you could use them throughout throughout the year as well so it just really depends on what you want to do and um, they're super versatile for you to use the cool thing about these is there's a paper version like you'll see here I'm not there's a digital version where students will um, drag a little box over the correct answer, save it, and then submit it back to you. And we've even created a Google Form version where students can do the answers right in Google Forms and then have it submitted to a Google Classroom. Or if you, if, you know, if you use Google Classroom, they can do it that way. Another section I want to show you from the dashboard is the reference and planning documents. You'll see that's right up at the top here. The TEKS snapshot shows all of the readiness and supporting TEKS that are covered. You can also view these on LoneStarLaunch.com. Make sure when you type in that URL that STAR has two A's. Um, so it's Lone, S-T-A-A-R, Launch.com. There's also a sequencing, sequencing calendar that shows you when to run each of the stations. It shows you exactly how we would run it if we were running our own. It, it even has a blank one for you and we provided some uh, boxes that you can drag in and, and create your own. The next thing is the frequency distribution, which is a spreadsheet that analyzes the last several years of the STAR test and shows you exactly how each standard has shown up on the test. It's a fantastic document. We've also put together uh, an FAQ document that answers common questions about pacing, organization, what it's going to look like in your own classroom, etc. We've added a master materials list. The paper stations do require some basic perishable materials, but it's nothing extravagant. Uh, again, we were teachers ourselves. We knew that the things that we purchased for our classroom probably came out of our own pockets. Um, but note that the digital files don't require any materials at all. Of course, there's the STAR hacking video that teaches students how to use their formula sheet to their advantage come test day. This video uh, Scott and I put out back in 2015, the original version of it. And between 
This one in the updated version that we did last year, it's got like over 120,000 views on it. So that's a, a, an awesome video. The last section I wanna talk about are the escape rooms. There are four science escape rooms that are included and they each have eight puzzles within them. They're broken down by reporting category, which is just another way of saying they're broken down by subject. Uh, that's how we that's how we call it here in Texas. And these can be done throughout the year as a refresher or added onto the you know the end of the year review that you're going to be doing uh, in your classes. They're super engaging and get kids talking about science. The Lone Star Launch can be purchased at LoneStarLaunch.com, and teachers can purchase the course individually. Each teacher will need their own license, but we also accept school purchase orders. There's a spot right on LoneStarLaunch.com to get a quote request from us to start that purchase order process, or you can purchase it individually right on that page as well. I can't wait to hear about your successes with the Lone Star Launch. This is a fantastic resource, and I only wish I had it when I was uh, teaching eighth grade um, back a few years ago. Have a great day.